Hey everybody, Kevin Rott here with Over Grab Outdoors. I wanted to talk a little bit about a couple hunts I had this weekend that kind of emphasized to me anyway, um, don't give up right away and don't be afraid to try something different. Um, first set Friday night, I had called this field for probably half an hour, 45 minutes and had grabbed my gear and was going to pack up and head out. As I'm grabbing all my gear ready to head out, I hear coyotes howl from the next field off to my um, northeast. <clears throat> so I hadn't seen anything in that field, no vocals, no nothing. As I'm leaving, they start howling over there. So I grabbed all my gear, moved up to the corner of the wood line that I was had my back against that separated those two fields. There's kind of a pinch point there. There's a wood lot here, wood lot here, and then fields on either side. So I moved up to that corner so I could actually see both fields. Uh, played a little distress, nothing happened. Ended up running uh, Heath Baker PT Territorial Female, and within a few minutes, these two coyotes came in. As you can see in the video, they come in through the field, but then they actually go off to my right, <clears throat> which went into the woods that I had my back to. I couldn't see them to get good clear shots through the woods because it's woods, but eventually they came out into the field which is a downwind side, and they came out almost exactly where I was originally set up. Once they came out, I was able to make a successful shot on one, and as you can see in the video, I didn't get a shot at the second one. Check it out. So last night, uh, first property I went to, um, the guy had messaged me, and actually two people had messaged me that they had seen a coyote hanging around in the hay field in the daylight. I went out there in the daylight, the wind wasn't perfect for it, but I figured I could make it work based on you know where I set up and what I did. Didn't see that coyote. Came back home, did a few other things, got another message, they seen the coyote again, same spot. So I told him I'd go out there after dark. <clears throat> so I went out last night after dark, called that little field, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. So I, again, grabbing my gear, going to leave. I look back on the opposite end of the property, way over there, and I see the coyote cutting across the fresh cut hay, going from right to left. <clears throat> so I grabbed all my gear, headed over there, set up there. Um, Ran just a little bit of distress. I couldn't see the coyote anymore. There's a brush line there in a ditch. Um, and he'd only cut like one row of the hay. So after that first row, it got thick again. Didn't have any responses or anything. I don't remember which sound I played at the end. I think I used Mon Pup Serenade and then just waited. Didn't see anything and was getting to the point where I was going to pack up and leave again. And I noticed a deer standing out in the hay field was looking really intently to the left. Well, I knew that coyote had went that way, so I feared the coyote or the deer was watching that coyote. Pretty soon that deer starts snorting, still staring that same way. Waited pretty soon, see that coyote come along that brush line, mousing. Um, waited a little bit, like I figured he would. And he eventually came across working his way down that fresh cut hay line and I was able to make a successful shot on that one. Check the video out.
Okay, so two successful hunts this weekend, one coyote each. Should have had three, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But both of those stands, I mean, um, took longer than I expected for one to get um, some action going on. And two, both of them I had to relocate. <clears throat> Often I've found where relocating to get closer to them will actually up your chances pretty good of uh, getting on those coyotes, calling them in. Something about cutting that distance will trigger a reaction in them and they will oftentimes come in when you cut that distance. So it's a tactic that I recommend and that when it's available, I try and use it. <clears throat> Obviously based on your terrain, your wind conditions, wind direction, everything else, you have to take that into account. But oftentimes moving, switching up, and being patient will pay off in the end. Hope you enjoyed the video, everybody.